Welcome back to the channel, Loving Life Mallorca. I'm Andrew. Today I'm doing another film from Dover on my Christmas, um, my little Christmas break here in Dover. So the other day, if you watched my film, I was talking about my little giveaway, wasn't I? A goodie bag giveaway. Well, here we are. These are the, the film, um, the little goodie bags, all parceled up in the jiffy bags already, all ready to post. So I'm walking around to the post, post office now to post them to you all. So I've just dropped out of them all in the post office. Thanks everyone. If you have entered and keep your fingers crossed, I've notified everybody who's won up to now by email yesterday. So just look forward to receiving your little parcels now. So just gonna go for a little walk into town, grab yourself a bite to eat in one of the cafes. So let's go and do a, a food review, shall we? Be a bit of fun, wouldn't it? People often ask me, what do I miss from Mallorca? The one I can't get over there, can only get in England. Well, this is one of the main things. I've got a terribly sweet tooth and I really do miss a proper Kentish gypsy tart, which is ever so sweet. And really they're one of my favorite puddings if you bought them from a proper bakery where they're made fresh. Um, so this is one of the things I, I do miss, it's a proper gypsy tart. Now look at that, that is really, really gorgeous, isn't it? So that's one of the things I do miss, is a proper, a proper cake. Really gorgeous when they're fresh. I'm going to do a little food review today. In Caspers, I'm not really a, a food review type of person, but I do love Caspers, and I thought, what well, better to come in here and share my little, um, my little pudding treat with you. Uh, that's our local Caspers in Dover. Yeah, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? It's all, everything needs to do with puddings. So you've got all your different, different ice creams and puddings. And it's, it's, I come in here quite a lot when I'm in England, as you can imagine. It's, it's, so, it's so nice, but I, go, I always go for the crepes. A crepe and a cup of tea. <laughs> Got your milkshakes and things, got everything in here, everything in here for the person with a sweet tooth. And they also do cakes as well. So if you like your slice of cake, you can get your cake a cup of tea in the afternoon or whatever. So I've actually ordered now, you have to go to the till and order. But what I've actually ordered is a crepe or pancake, whatever you'd like to call it. I've gone for a banana, strawberry slices, white chocolate syrup, and crushed digestives and a cup of tea, and they came to £10.65. pence. What a bargain. So what do they say? Everything stops for tea, don't they? Cheers, guys. So first thoughts, eh? It's nicely decorated, isn't it? It's a lovely plate. Got a Caspers on the corner of the plate. Got the two scoops of ice cream there. And it's, it's nicely presented, isn't it? Good presentation of the, um, the different foods. Got the banana and the... Um, the strawberries and the white sauce over it and sprinkled around with the biscuits so perhaps I could you know the, the proof of the pudding as they say it's in the eating isn't it so let's have a cut in half and see what it looks like it's nice and thick isn't it Little bit of ice cream on there for good luck. Mm. A definite 10 out of 10. Yeah, I do like my sweet things and this definitely is not um, disappointing me, should I say. at the moment, there's only three people in here. No. 
I'd say the biggest wonder I had, to be honest with you, is to leave the ice cream in little pots or to um, put the ice cream straight on the plate. I did it. It's such a worry, isn't it? What should I do? In the pot, on the plate, on the plate, in the pot, which is the right way to do it. What do you do? Final thoughts. Do you know, that was really good, that was really nice. I would, well, Casper's just probably the same as Creams, maybe, just under different names. I haven't tried creams for ages. Didn't got Casper's in our hometown. Um, but if I had a bit of money behind me, this is just what New Yorker needs, isn't it? It's some kind of Casper's or something. So if you've got a few grand, quite a few grand spare, why don't you have a go? Bung one over there. I'd come and work for you. I'd, I'd just chop your bananas. Well, cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget the Facebook page, Love and Love New Yorker. I'll do a few bits and pieces while I'm over here, but obviously the majority of my film, my channel, if you like, is all about where we live in New Yorker and what we get up to. Thanks then, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.